All right, guys, before we start the video, I got to give a disclaimer. This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purposes only. Now, with that out of the way, on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you install RetroArch for the Aroma environment. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to say, um, if you've been running Tiramisu, to run uh, RetroArch, make sure you delete um, all the files associated with RetroArch from your SD card. So there's going to be a download link in the pinned comment for all the files you're going to need. So on this uh, GBA temp page, scroll down until you see the zip file download you're gonna have to unzip it using 7-zip or WinRAR so here's the folders um, it's about 700 megabytes so it's a pretty large uh, file so on my left is the download folder and on the right is my we use SD card so just go into the Aroma Cores Extract to SD. Uh, select both folders. And then drag and drop them to the root of the SD card. Now you have, you're going to have to create a BIOS folder. And you're going to put your BIOS in here. For any of the systems that need BIOS. And then you'll create a ROMs folder. Uh, with the different systems. So I got a whole bunch of different systems. And then you put the games inside those folders. Uh, they can be zipped. Or just the regular ROMs. So that is basically it. How you set up the SD card. To run... Uh, retro arch on the aroma environment now we're going to get on the wii u and i'll show you how to set it all up all right now over on the wii u uh, power on your system uh, just boot into aroma i have double boot on mine so you're gonna have to select tiramisu or aroma so for me, Aroma. And then Wii U menu. Now you should already have the Retro Arch uh, channel on the main menu on the Wii U. So we'll just switch. So scroll over, scroll over, one more. So as you can see, we, we already have the RetroArch channel. Um, so two important things that we're gonna do before we load up RetroArch. Uh, this is because of known errors uh, when loading cores. So this is gonna eliminate all the errors. So make sure you do this. So first thing you're gonna do, go into settings, load it up. You're going to have to make sure that the uh, time and date on the Wii U is, is correct. So I'll go over to the fourth page. Uh, set name and time. So make sure the date's correct and the time and then confirm. Okay. Okay. And then V to quit. menu so 
Now make sure that you have the app, the Aroma Updater. Uh, this is the reason why we updated the uh, date and time. Uh, because this uh, app will not work properly if the time and date isn't correct. So um, this is going to update to the latest Aroma build. And if you don't have this Aroma build, um, there's going to be errors. So just open up the Aroma Updater. And it'll tell you if you need to update. So press A to check updates. Mine's already in the latest version, but as you can see, it says up to date on everything. Uh, then you scroll over to page two with the R button and it's pretty much all up to date. Um, if you have any files that need updating, usually the environment loader or the base aroma even, uh, make sure you select them and update them. So just press the plus button on the um, we use gamepad to update it and then it'll just do all the updating. So now we're going to go back. We're going to close software. And now we're, we're going to load up RetroArch and now everything should work properly. So if you're getting any errors when you're loading the cores, this is why uh, the aroma needs to be updated. So now it should work properly. So now we're going to load up RetroArch. There you go. We're in RetroArch. Uh, so now... Uh, pretty simple to do. Just load up uh, load content, press A. Uh, this is your SD card right here. So just scroll down, press A. Brings you to your SD card, the root menu. Uh, now go to where you have your ROMs. So mine is under Retro Arch and then ROMs folder. Now I'm going to pick the system. I have an NES game, so just go down to the NES folder. Uh, pick your ROM. And then press A. You're going to pick your core. So any of these three are going to work. We're just going to uh, pick the first one. So press A. And it should load up the game. There, there you go. That loads up the game. Now I'll go back. We're going to close content. You can also scan the directory by import content. Uh, go over a scan directory and then pick your folder and then you'll have you'll have uh, all your different systems on the left side down here and then it'll show up on your games on your right uh, so that's basically it that's how you install um, retro arch on the um, Aroma environment. Now we're going to exit. That will take us back to the main menu. Um, so I will leave all the links you're going to need in the uh, pinned comment. Uh, make sure you do all the steps if you're getting any, any kind of errors. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And on to the next one.